thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of 1 Kings chapter 9, where in verses 4 and 5 I read that God promised to bless Solomon as he did his father David if he walked with integrity in his heart. Today I wanted to speak about that word integrity. The best way I could describe integrity is doing what is right when no one is looking. Colossians chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 are scripture verses that I remember when it comes to doing my work, where I am employed with the Board of Education as a custodian. It says, to do your work as pleasing to the Lord, not to people. Whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31 tells us, whether we eat or drink, whatever we do, we have to do to the glory of God. I remember many years ago, one of my big supervisors Word got around, rumor got around that he said to some of my co-workers that Richie, speaking of me, was a person of integrity. And I give God the glory. I am not a perfect worker, and God knows that. But he said that he didn't he felt like I didn't need supervision, that I would be on at work on time, I would leave on time, not too early. I uh, didn't have to be supervised as far as trying to steal things or steal time. That's how we should live our lives, brothers and sisters, not needing supervision too much. However, we can run from people, but we can't run from God. You see, God sees everything. Integrity, as I said, is doing what's right when no one is looking, but there are eyes that see us all the time. In 1982, when I was 16 years old, a song came out by a group called the Alan Parsons Project and it was called The Eye in the Sky. Basically, it speaks about how God sees everything. You see, you can run, but you can't hide from the Lord. Joe Lewis was a heavyweight boxing champion in the 1930s and 1940s. He was born in 1914. He died in 1981. And he had a saying when he got in the ring about his opponents, they could run, but they can't hide. You see, spiritually speaking too, we think that we can run from God, but we can't, my brothers and sisters. Adam and Eve learned this. The first thing they did when they sinned in the Garden of Eden, in Genesis chapter three, we are told, verses seven and eight, was that they tried to cover themselves with fig leaves and then try to run from the presence of the Lord. King David in 2 Samuel chapter 11 sinned with Bathsheba, someone else's wife, and he kept it quiet for about a year. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, about a year later, he was confronted by a prophet by the name of Nathan. And we know that he confessed his sin. In Psalm 139, verses 7 to 10, you can read there, David speaks about how, where can I go from your presence, Lord? If I go to the depths of the sea, if I go to the highest mountains, wherever I go, the Lord is there. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 tells us that we're all exposed before the eyes of the Lord. When I was younger, I remember as a teenager doing mischievous things. I grew up very fast in the streets. And a lot of times when people I grew up with, guys I grew up with, did something wrong, it was often at night, tried to hide ourselves from the authorities. Uh, if you were going to cheat on your girlfriend, and I'm not saying it was right, but we would try to cover our tracks, shut off our beepers. If you went to a hotel, you tried to cover the window with shades and curtains. But I could tell you, my brothers and sisters, one thing you can't run from is God. There is no shade, there is no curtain big enough to cover the window of God's eyes. He sees everything. We are exposed to him. David learned this. Adam and Eve learned this. I learned this, and I'm sure if you're honest with yourselves, there are times in your life that you try to run from the Lord. That is why we are to walk with integrity. Proverbs speaks a lot about integrity. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9. Chapter 11, verse 3. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 1. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 6. I encourage you to read those scripture verses. There's many scripture verses in Proverbs about integrity. And whenever something is repeated in the Bible, there's importance. We ought to be people of integrity. We ought to be people, whether it's at our work or in our relationships. I've been married now for over 28 years by the grace of God. 
My relationship with my wife should be full of integrity. She's going to a party later for a few hours with some coworkers. I'm gonna be left alone at home. Integrity is when you have a spouse that trusts that you're gonna do the right thing. That's what should be our li- that's how our lives should be marked, even in our relationships with our spouses, our children. And I said before, even at work or in our church, we don't need to be um, hiding things from each other. We can try to, as I said before, but there is one that you can't hide from, and that is God. And something God has given each and every one of us is a conscience. That conscience is that voice inside your head that's telling you you're doing right or you're doing wrong. And as I said, we could try to run from it, but we can't hide. I hope today's devotional video, my brothers and sisters, will encourage us all to be marked as brothers and sisters in Christ, as people of integrity. Wherever you go, you should do the right thing, even when no one is looking with physical eyes, knowing that there are eyes in heaven, seeing everything that we do, and we should be trying to please him first and foremost, and not the people around us. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ on social media who will see this devotional video today, Lord. I pray, Father, from my heart that we all, including myself, will be people marked full of integrity, people of character, following Jesus Christ in truth. Forgive us, Lord God, when we've tried to hide from you, from your presence, Lord, and tried to cover up our tracks. Lord, we can't. You see everything. You are that eye in the sky. Help us to come to you with broken hearts, with you and with each other, Lord God, in honesty and in integrity, in our speech, in our actions, in our thoughts. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. Walk in the Spirit.